Hi, hello, Namaskara. I hope you guys are doing good. I wanted to come to you guys and um, tell about my story of buying a Scorpio N. How's the journey been? Uh, what all I've gone through and uh, where I'm currently at. So it all started um, while Mahindra launched uh, the Scorpio N or announced of launching the Scorpio N and uh, they, they promoted it saying uh, it's a big daddy of uh, SUV. I'm so blown out by uh, the amount or the sheer size of the vehicle and how it was being promoted and even I I, I got myself uh, into driving you know, quite a few times uh, you know this vehicle. Uh, it all started firstly I had a Fiat Punto uh, which was owning I wanted something you know big bulky uh, which suits uh, you know my preference I would call uh, while Punto was one of the best that uh, I was I was driving I wanted to look at something that is you know that's got a good ground clearance uh, given the place from that I'm at which is cool uh, I wanted a vehicle which I could take anywhere everywhere you know kind of a vehicle so Scorpio N you know uh, was the was the vehicle that I wanted to look at because it you know given the look it had and uh, the performance and the figures that that it came with I wanted to go with uh, Scorpio N um, I mean as as you guys are aware sorry about the background noise uh, as you guys are aware uh, this launched um, in a month of May yeah May I guess and uh, while they launched they said you know, people are going to have a month time to drive it, test it out and then decide on, uh, you know, out of the five variants, which one would you want to go with? And um, so July is when I kind of uh, did the booking and uh, they said I fall under the introductory price wherein, you know, 25,000 chosen people were uh, given the opportunity of introductory price and I was one among them and I was so happy that uh, you know what are the price rise is going to be uh, like you've seen with Mahendra uh, I'm not going to be uh, affected by it because there is no change in uh, on-road or ex-showroom price I would call and um, they, pro they also promised in at the time of the launch that uh, all these models are going to be uh, very soon delivered unlike the 700 or 700 uh, which had delays of 8 months, 10 months, close to a year or well over that. So I didn't want to you know wait that long because uh, I was so eager to uh, you know getting my hands in, in, in the Scorpio N and I wanted it like immediately. They said you know 3 months of waiting time and I was like you know it's, it's always better to wait for something than uh, you get it instantly right. So. It was worth the wait, uh, worth the uh, wait in fact. Uh, but I, was, I wasn't I was expecting that it was going to be <coughs> a, a wait for this long. So, uh, they said by October, November, uh, we would get our vehicle. And uh, like, unlike every car manufacturer, not sure what, um, what, what idea these guys had in terms of, uh, you know, while everyone launches every model in one go, these guys launched as per their wish, literally it, it, depending on uh, uh, how they wanted it. So they they started with Z8L, which was the top in line. Then they went with uh, Z4 and uh, then they went with, uh, you know, then they recently launched the Z6 within a span of, you know, four or five months kind of a thing. And um, good that introductory price is not changed, that is still intact. And um, the vehicle, you know, we, I'd always ridden the, the automatic and manual, which is the top line. And um, you know, this is one of the one of the decisions that we have made, wherein without even seeing how the uh, look and feel of the vehicle is, we went ahead and booked the, the vehicle or the, the Scorpio M. And uh, it was fun doing, but uh, unfortunately we had to wait, a, wait for a very, 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 very long time. And uh, I guess I've not heard of anyone who's gone through, you know, 
such a such a phase, I would say, or such a delivery, because uh, you know we, they had pushed it multiple times. You know, they said it is going to be in the month of um, you know Feb, then they said April, and then they said uh, it, it's going to be out in June, July. Uh, but fortunately, uh, you know, just God's grace that uh, we we have a vehicle that is allotted to us. The only thing is like, um, you know, while I was running uh, with the bank and uh, getting the uh, disbursement done and all that, uh, it was, it was damn delayed and, uh, you know, like, uh, the banker is uh, blaming the, the showroom saying that, you know, they didn't get the documents on time, uh, uh, vice versa, wherein, you know, the showroom is saying that, uh, whatever details we got uh, was incorrect. There was some discrepancy in it, and uh, they wanted more clarity, which is why uh, the delivery was expected for uh, the 12th of May. And uh, like I said, I guess no one that I know of have taken a delivery license wherein the vehicle was not registered. I had to, since that was the time that was. Uh, the right time for me to pick up the vehicle. Uh, I had to go to the showroom, um, you know, take it for a, a puja, even though it was not registered, go for a short ride, because I had all my family members, you know, come down to uh, Bangalore, and, uh, you know, we were so happy that we were going to get it, but in the last moment they said, you know what, uh, you're not going to get your vehicle right away because it's not registered yet. And I was so blown away by the news that I had everything, you know, done for uh, making it happen. But unfortunately, that didn't go as as I planned. And um, literally, I was so devastated by by the news. But you know, God's grace, at least I I got what I wanted in terms of I had to take a delivery. I took the delivery uh, partially, I would say wherein I, I went to the, like I said, I went to the, the temple, got a puja done. I had to take it back to the showroom and leave it. So, I still don't have the vehicle, even though I have it under my name. It's still not registered, so I guess I'll have to wait for another uh, two or three days to have it registered and then go pick it up and get it. Um, is it worth a while? Absolutely, yes. Um, the, the sheer pleasure that you get while you drive this vehicle is killer. That's the word that I would say. It's killer. You know, it's, it's got that like the big daddy uh, stance to it and uh, you know, you literally on top while, while you're driving and it's so crazy that um, all these situations turned out to be like a uh, a big mess I would call, but not a mess. In a way, I'm, I'm just lucky that, you know, there are so many other people who are waiting for it and have not got it. So I'm just lucky that I got to see a vehicle that is allotted in my name and uh, just that I'm waiting for the days to pass by so that I can go pick it up and uh, bring it home. So that's, that's, that's the story of me in purchasing a new vehicle that is a Scorpio N. Uh, just hoping that you know i don't want the uh, same situation for others uh, or anyone else to go through the same situation because it's a it's a headache of waiting for ages uh, of what you want and uh, uh, too many roadblocks in between um, and you've been skipping dates you've been uh, you know happy one time and all of a sudden you get to know that oh yeah it's not happening so a lot of things went through, but um, you know, like I said, I'm just happy that uh, you know I'm getting this car. Uh, so stay tuned for further updates on uh, the actual delivery, and uh, I'll keep you posted on what next. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Quick glimpse from where we took the delivery and got the puja done and gave it back to the showroom for getting the registration done.